and this is part 21 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. This week I decided to go differently. I filmed and commented every update day by day. So I will open and close this video with no visible changes to the layout, but a lot of changes, especially concerning the figurines, which I have totally positioned. Welcome guys, this week I've decided to go slightly different and I will try to update you day by day while I'm in the process of placing all the figurines and something else. I uploaded my last video, part 20 of the series, in the night between Sunday and Monday. Now I am in the plain middle of the night between Monday and Tuesday. So I will uh, quickly update you on what I did during Monday evening. And by the way, all the figurines and everything else, it is supposed to be uh, in this position from now on, but probably I will make some changes in the next days. You may have already noticed that I've added a Santa there in his chair with some helpers, some gifts, the children, uh, one of my tree on top of which I've added a flashing multicolor um, star that obviously will need to be connected to, to the AC adapter. But the main change uh, concern this house here, this building. I've added all along the perimeter some low stone walls. They are low stone walls, a well, a, a black park bench. I've also incorporated into this long micro scene the um, children playing. I've had a, a nanny there, another uh, park bench there. And by the way, this one is one of my favorite and one of the best figurines ever put on the market by uh, Lemax. <coughs> a family of carriers there, a uh, commercial sign post there. Then uh, some more white fences here that still needed to be <laughs> fixed because they tend to fall down very easily. <clears throat> so this one is another kind of uh, uh, fences that uh, will be suited for this uh, residential building there. <clears throat> Sorry. In plain middle of the second level, I've also added a Christmas band with some park benches around and already some public listening to them. Maybe I will <clears throat> make some changes there. Concerning uh, the uh, level with the uh, windmill, I've added in between the, mid the windmill and the little pretzel uh, shop one of the biggest attractions from last year. I will certainly need to dig uh, some, uh, oh, some spaces into the styrofoam because now is too uh, elevated from the ground surface. And also uh, another couple of carriers um, near the bridge. Uh, then I've added some other kind of uh, fences here all along these uh, uh, two buildings. I've considered this simply one long uh, block and with no separation between the two um, buildings, the two houses there and the uh, carriers uh, there. So this will be uh, maybe two family in the same uh, block. I still need to be uh, fixed. I've added uh, some more uh, figurines uh, there, some more figurines, another couple of uh, married uh, people entering the mountain view lodge there. Uh, I've already shown you these two Santa's helpers there. Then I've added uh, <coughs> a figurines in the middle of the uh, bridge. Concerning the opposite side, I've added uh, very uh, little. Uh, I've added uh, some boy and his dog staring at uh, uh, Christmas uh, boutique uh, uh, windows. 
then I've added there some more uh, skaters here and there. The, those one are a family coming out from their home and getting to the uh, lake for some uh, skating. Then you can't have a lake with the skaters without the music. Oops. So I've added also a trio of musicians there and a dog uh, singing <coughs> near the lake. Still need some fences around and everything else. And one last figure in there. Maybe the ch teacher from the elementary school with plenty of book in his hands. And that's all for the, uh, this, uh, the last evening, for a Monday evening. I told you, very quickly, update. See you with the next update. Bye. Second update of the week, guys, and I'm in plain middle of the night between Tuesday and Wednesday. I just finished placing some more uh, figurines all around the layout and also something else. And it is a process very similar to the one I did uh, during the gathering when it was a matter of placing some buildings, uh, placing some other buildings, then moving them around, uh, sliding them to the left, to the right, remove another building, replace it with some other building. So a very long process and not very fun to see. So I will go all along this week with just a quick updates on what I did and once again I repeat this is not the final uh, layout so let's go I've added uh, some more uh, children uh, this time uh, very happy children because they got some present from Santa and the nun is no more there I've replaced her with uh, mother and daughter uh, as concerning uh, some other uh, changes uh, here the carolers now have some uh, company, uh, nanny with uh, some uh, children has come there. I have uh, another uh, park bench here and the sign post there. The commercial sign post is no more there. I have added a uh, apple seller. Concerning uh, the uh, ground level, I added uh, some uh, bread and uh, a pies seller there, a shoe shiner and a little uh, street market zone here. Still need uh, some more figurines, but uh, I've needed a place where some of the uh, vendors of the seller from this year collection would have been well placed. And uh, if you watch through the market, uh, through the street market, you can appreciate that I have also the fish, fresh fish seller and a customer um, the other side of the railroad. Then I've also placed the Salvation Army band there. And for ground level, I think it's uh, all I did. From this level, from the second level or the middle level between first and second level, I've added uh, some uh, cart, uh, uh, some milk uh, seller, so the cart from the milk seller, and I also added uh, these three there, and it is uh, um, a tree that needs to be connected to the uh, AC adapter because it has lights, and it will also need uh, some uh, little digging because I don't want the base to be visible. A customer in front of the uh, pub, a uh, sandwich man uh, proposing some uh, commercial precisely to, uh, to uh, some tickets for the uh, Christmas uh, concert. Um, the level with the um, Christmas band, I am changed nothing there. So let's go to another level here. In front of the hills view, I added uh, some uh, children choir, sorry for my pr bad pronunciation, and uh, the priest uh, directing uh, them. Uh, nothing there is uh, modified anymore. From the uh, family caroler uh, level right here, I've completely replaced all my uh, fences or my green fences because they are too high and they prevent uh, the um, 
the, what is uh, behind the defense to be seen correctly. And I also used there some of the same uh, low stone walls I've used on the ground uh, level. By the way, those are perfect. They give a differentiation, they give a separation between uh, some parts of the layout, uh, and they give privacy to some part of the layout, but they allow everything to be seen through because they are very low. So I completely remove uh, these kind of fences. I've added uh, some uh, <coughs> figurines uh, coming out from uh, the residential area, and here uh, also they are all pointing towards uh, Santa. Um, and this is all for now from uh, this level. And by the way, the figurines there are uh, diminishing in number. Um, the fountain level, I've added the, the majority of the figurines there. I have a plane of uh, uh, life there. I have some of the new, uh, uh, the new couple there. I have a mother and daughter uh, c coming out from the French bakery. I have the new Carolel family uh, there. I have uh, some other things and I, this is uh, uh, coming out uh, quite well. Still need uh, some little adjustments, uh, some trees here and there, maybe a, a little more of figurines, but uh, I think it's going the right direction. Also plenty of uh, park bench there. Uh, the chimney sweeper there getting <laughs> somewhere. Um, here a sweet cellar, I've added a sweet cellar, some uh, daughter and uh, mother coming from uh, maybe the lake level and going uh, somewhere else. Uh, nothing has changed here around the lake, but I added some figurines in front of the church. Uh, a couple uh, kissing after marrying in front of the new priest and uh, maybe uh, also mother and the father of the, of the bride, I think. I still miss some other parents or family, I think, there. And uh, this is all, guys, I think. Yes, this is all I did. And <laughs> I assure you that I've moved all the figurines up, down, left, right, many, many times. Uh, okay. That's all for this quick update. See you tomorrow. And uh, welcome to the third update of the week. I am in the night between uh, Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> Not precisely the night, it's almost uh, uh, morning. Uh, and uh, this will be the longest night of the uh, week. Uh, most probably it will remain the, <laughs> the longest night of the week. But I needed uh, desperately to uh, place uh, uh, almost all the figurines and uh, park bench and some um, more uh, walls and some trees in order to see if uh, the look uh, of the entire village would satisfy my needs and uh, everything else. So I worked uh, <laughs> a lot too much during this evening. You may already have noticed that I've connected the, uh, the tree with on top the uh, star. Uh, it's nothing more than some of my uh, moldable plastic that I've um, cut and uh, formed in the form of a star and I've inserted inside before the plastic hardened again and a multicolor uh, RGB uh, LED, a flashing uh, LED. It is a slow flashing LED, it changes color varying from white, green, blue, red, yellow, purple, all the colors of the uh, rainbow. Also, <coughs> uh, no more none there along the, uh, um, under the arc, no more uh, mother and daughter coming out from the ark, but I've placed my uh, marching Christmas band. 
Uh, I've also added uh, some more figurines all along uh, the um, stair. Uh, another big more adding, modifying, changes, I don't know, call it whatever you want, is that I've removed the park bench, the black park bench I had there, and I added uh, two trees, two pine trees, uh, and some uh, um, children, some uh, little guys uh, having a snow fight, two groups uh, having a snow fight and the well is now in the middle of the wall. Uh, then I've added uh, some more, uh, one, one more figurines and uh, some fountain uh, inside the uh, street market. I've added a Scrooge, I've uh, placed it there the policeman, I placed it there, the sandwich man that previously was uh, on top of the uh, right bridge there because I needed to have uh, some, another some other figurines on top of the bridge. The shoe shiner and here uh, where I have the couple kissing on the park bench, I added these completely uh, white tree there and some more small pine there here and there. I don't want to get uh, too uh, long so I've also added uh, some uh, low arched, uh, stone arched uh, walls uh, around the Santa and two more uh, pine trees. Here I have the watch added, I have another tree and by the way those three are uh, perfect for a Christmas village because they have uh, just some little point of uh, white and you can see through it with uh, every camera you can su see through it. There is a slightly difference between uh, this tree that is white, uh, very beautiful, very delicate and you can still see through it but those one are perfect. Uh, you can uh, appreciate every uh, single uh, carolers even if I'm completely on top of the uh, tree. Then some viewers, some more figurines. Um, this is the figurines I had under the arch uh, yesterday. The bread seller and uh, took a, a couple, uh, wife and husband coming from uh, shopping. Then I've added the uh, two more figurines, uh, an elegant, the elegant lady as it is called, uh, this figurine and uh, uh, a little ch children, a little child selling some newspaper, um, granddaughter and uh, grandfather <coughs> getting uh, toward the Christmas band. Then from at the level of uh, the uh, East view, <laughs> here we have uh, uh, the nun. Uh, that has been a constant presence for the past two months. I had some more uh, figurines and some more um, um, shoppers uh, all uh, going uh, towards the uh, bridge. Uh, here I added uh, some more figurines, there too. I don't want to be too detailed. Here finally I have all the um, the reindeers, and uh, not all the reindeers, because uh, there is uh, one more there in the middle of the layout uh, near the waterfall. I count that in just a few seconds. Some more trip ups. I still need to fix this uh, stair. Uh, some more trees there, maybe I will add uh, some more. Uh, some more figurines, uh, some more. Uh, villagers or shoppers uh, getting towards uh, the uh, mountain view uh, lodge. Uh, some more uh, little uh, um, house birds uh, here and there with the fountain, the little fountain, another figurines, another tree here in the middle. And very, very, very few figurines remaining from the uh, fountain level. It's almost uh, done, uh, yes. I will probably add no more figurines and no more trees and uh, nothing more, nothing else. I've used uh, three of those uh, trees I've just uh, uh, shown you before. 
I've added uh, another lady, very elegant lady with an umbrella and uh, some uh, mm, two more trees, two more white trees there. And for the uh, lake level, very quickly because I need to close this update, otherwise it's absolutely not a quick update. I've added uh, two more uh, white trees there, one uh, in proximity of the trio of uh, musicians there and another one in the far corner um, uh, just beside the street sweeper and uh, I have also added uh, some more L-shaped uh, low stone wall there with a doll maker, a doll repairer and some little girl uh, getting towards it towards him, sorry and then another nanny with some uh, children there I've also added there some uh, thrill seekers there and I still need to have uh, some, um, a lot of uh, snow coming down there and they will surely get in trouble uh, getting down the slope there and then the last reindeer there then I've also started making uh, or getting from last year some of the uh, stairs but I don't like them like this I will probably most probably modify them or redo uh, them I don't know this is the model I will use anyway and this is ah yes in the middle of the bridge of the big bridge there I also added the and uh, another uh, figurines another figurine right there and yes this is all <laughs> I just need a one one hour of sleep maybe then I will be ready for my <laughs> job bye hi guys I filmed my last update in the night of between Wednesday and Thursday I am actually filming this update Sunday evening. During the past nights I couldn't film anything. Why? <laughs> Simply because this room was a total mess and it absolutely couldn't be filmed. I needed to advance the maximum possible uh, before uploading the part 21st of the series. Uh, I am way under schedule last year 2019 my final edited video uh, went online um, on November 24th <laughs> now today is November 29th and I have uh, still a lot of things to do so let's go with the, the update and by the way all the figurines have been placed except for this uh, commercial signpost here. I haven't placed for it. It will uh, um, ruin the, the harmony of every micro scene. I would have uh, mm, uh, needed a rounded large square in order to place it in the middle and another uh, micro scene around it. It is for next year. Uh, this is the only things that is remaining from all the figurines I have uh, I had placed uh, last uh, week. So it took me a week to do everything to place every single figure. Update. You may already have seen that I've masked the maximum possible uh, the lake. I've added uh, some moss. It still needed to dry a little bit because after uh, putting the glue under the moss, I've uh, placed the moss. Then I've used the same technique uh, you have seen me using uh, for the uh, railroad. I used uh, a little spoon with uh, some mix of uh, water and uh, um, vinylic glue to uh, uh, sparse it uh, on top of the uh, moss and it still needed to uh, dry. Here too I have uh, placed some more uh, moss and now um, the rock here, the big rock, is fixed. 
I have uh, made two holes in it, one here and one there. I still need to paint them a little bit, but now it is uh, fixed. And all the layout needed to be uh, cleaned, uh, I know. So let's go with uh, the update. <laughs> this won't be, and this will not be a quick update, sorry. Uh, ground level. I have uh, practically changed nothing. I've changed absolutely nothing uh, except for the uh, cobblestone road here. I have advanced it a little more towards the street and nothing else has been done. Maybe uh, those two little pine tree there. Mm, but I, uh, unfortunately, I can't remember if I've already um, told you about them in my uh, last update. Oh yes, this uh, black uh, uh, bench here. I have uh, I added this black bench there, and also a little round uh, this little um, tree here, and obviously also this one here in the corner, the big one here in the corner. Everything lay else is uh, as you have seen uh, some days ago. <laughs> no, some minutes ago, but I did it, uh, I filmed it uh, some days ago. The stairs there, uh, I wasn't satisfied with simply the uh, glue as, um, uh, as simulation for the snow, so I also added some uh, white paint, uh, some white acrylic paint uh, color on top of the uh, fences there, on the wood fences. And uh, it's now a little bit more um, realistic, not completely, but at least the snow is uh, uh, visible. I also painted uh, all along the railroad. I've used bef uh, I've started uh, with uh, uh, brown, then black, then then some uh, uh, white to finish it, and on top of the arc uh, some more uh, white there. Uh, I also added some uh, green moss inside the big hole. I still add here, and obviously all around every scene. Uh, I've placed uh, the uh, fences, the canal fences I used to uh, love during the past years and uh, they have been fixed with some tape to the uh, surface, to the um, paper rock in this case. Uh, everything else is uh, as... <laughs> oh, I don't want the little policeman to be... <laughs> Um, roll over by the train so I will need to place it where I placed it before right there I just moved it in order to paint the, uh, f the wood fences anyway uh, everything else is uh, as you remember um, this uh, micro scene here mm. I have simply fixed the, the uh, fences here, you know, the white fences, with some tape, double sided tape on the surface. And I've also added this little tree there. You have already seen me doing it, but now it is uh, connected to the AC adapter. I've added uh, some uh, wooden barrel there and I've also finished uh, with the fences here in the corner. Here, I also added uh, some fences here because there is the um, uh, back entrance, <laughs> left uh, the right entrance, but is the back back entrance for the uh, pub. Uh, still, uh, need to dig a little bit uh, for the tree because I don't like to have the base uh, visible like that. Uh, yes, this is all for this uh, middle level here. Uh, let's go with the, uh, s the other level, the other micro scene there. Uh, I've added also a couple of uh, big trees in the back and also one and two uh, and two tree, pine tree there. Uh, this level, nothing has changed. Uh, uh, from a last update. I've simply added a little pine tree behind the street lamp there. 
and obviously I've completed the uh, fences the all around it and generally I don't place uh, fences behind the buildings because it is uh, useless for the uh, purpose of the Christmas village and for the filming it is absolutely useless uh, windmill level I've added the fences here I added uh, some uh, chicken there and uh, everything uh, oh yes I also uh, dig it uh, for the uh, the table uh, accent here now it is leveled with the ground oops I'm ruining everything sorry I've added uh, these two trees there I still need to fix them uh, with some tape to the uh, surface and another big tree here I've uh, completely uh, closed with rock paper this side of the layout now it is completely covered with uh, uh, rock paper I've also finished pa painting with uh, brown and uh, um, black uh, the, uh, the uh, super for the railroad and this is all for the windmill level and uh, mm, Yes, this is all. All the fences have been places, uh, placed around the uh, level. Here we go with the uh, family caroller, caroller level. Uh, two main changes. Obviously the snow on top of the fences because now they are more realistic. And uh, yes, it is uh, very uh, satisfying like that. In the corner there, let me just adjust a little bit the camera. In the corner there, I had uh, previously uh, a rounded corner there. I wasn't satisfied simply because I also needed to place the uh, fences here to close the uh, level. So I've uh, replaced the uh, rounded corner there with a straight corner and uh, now it is uh, um, much more much better sorry uh, two more some more pines di there another pine tree here and this is all for the uh, carol uh, family carol uh, level uh, okay let's go with the santa level i've added some sign post one here and one there the fences obviously all around uh, the the santa level here too all along this uh, level here the uh, fourth level one two three four level this is fifth level or santa level or okay and uh, some uh, three one here and one there and uh, nothing and by the way uh, when I have uh, a problem like this, when I come to this uh, point here and the uh, width, the length of the remaining space isn't enough, I've added uh, some of my uh, wood fences there, uh, here. Uh, I made uh, them, uh, you have seen me doing it already um, in the bla on the on blacksmith uh, level down, uh, three, four le three levels down. And this is the only solution I have uh, for not having to cut uh, these uh, plastic fences in the middle when I need some different length of uh, uh, fences. I've uh, done it for this level then I've also did it here because there was a very small uh, space here one also uh, there and uh, the fourth one is here. Here we go with the fourth one but painting them completely back black uh, it's not so noticeable if I don't point uh, it out uh, um, voluntarily and uh, for this level is all I think yes this is all for this level too let's go from the other side of the layout uh, all right here the gallery the train gallery I know uh, 
I could have made a, a rounded arc here in order to uh, make it more harmoniously but uh, uh, this is uh, the first year that I am making a gallery not in plain straight section of the railroad but in uh, a, a curved section. This shouldn't be done in any way uh, simply because the train is uh, occupying much more space on a uh, curved section of the railroad and so I will add a problem inserting an arc here with the train not going perfectly straight. This is uh, a different solution. I still need uh, some glue there because it's not perfectly glued. I will uh, need uh, to do it uh, in a second moment, not now, <laughs> while I'm filming this update and the fences here have been added here we go with the fences and here too uh, from behind no fences as i've explained i've uh, uh, painted uh, the this section here with some brown and black i've added uh, some uh, green uh, moss uh, uh, getting up from the railroad here towards the uh, lake another uh, and made uh, a closing fence uh, here. <coughs> the lake. I've used uh, this kind of uh, black of uh, wood uh, fences, sorry, in order to protect the lake. Uh, and I added one of my uh, fences here. This one is uh, brown, pale, uh, uh, pale brown, in order to simulate uh, the closing of the entrance of the lake then everything else is as you remember uh, all the fences all the black fences and uh, yes this is all uh, finally i have uh, made the stairs oh by the way yeah, also to in from the other side that i will show you uh, lately um i've made these uh, one uh, two and uh, three stairs uh, they are freshly uh, done and uh, painted uh, using my uh, um, my technique that you have seen me using uh, many times and uh, gray uh, no black uh, dark gray light gray some brown some uh, white uh, dry brush here a uh, mini park zone <laughs> going from the main section to this other section i expl i mm, don't wanted to add any figurines there because simply because it would have been a too big difference in scale between those uh, attraction there and this level so i needed some space to uh, make some distance between this level here with all in scale and this uh, other level here not in scale this is a mini park with some um, benches there um, and the fences here starting from this point on the fences uh, uh, aren't uh, my fences obviously but uh, they are uh, pale uh, brown light brown uh, because in plain uh, mountain you use uh, wood uh, here uh, until this level here you use uh, metallic fences here those are metallic fences simulation of a metallic fence but here we have uh, um, wood fences so I've added all the fences all around uh, the uh, final and uh, final level here I've also added uh, some uh, small figurines there they are uh, suited for the scale of uh, these uh, those buildings there but uh, they are not uh, uh, for the other levels so I have also plenty of figurines uh, all along the, um, the the level there and I've also placed uh, the, the four new uh, stairs there uh, and the figurines now they are present um, nothing has changed nothing else has changed from uh, this uh, level 2 uh, oh uh, yes, the uh, the big uh, uh, Santa stair. <laughs> I forget to show you, but you have already seen it. 
and it I've made it uh, I've completed it with my usual technique here we go I've carved uh, some uh, tails there then I painted plain black then uh, gray then dark uh, light gray then uh, some uh, brown then some uh, white uh, dry uh, brush finally it is completed also the stairs to the to Santa level I think I've uh, said everything I did during the past uh, night Oof, it has been a, a long uh, road now I still uh, need to do some uh, oh yes uh, some uh, green moss going from the stair up to the corner there I've added also the, mo the green moss there and uh, the, the moss here also but I've already uh, told you about it uh, very long uh, trip this uh, this uh, week and I still need to do some more um, to add some more details then it will be time for uh, placing uh, sparsing uh, the snow everywhere uh, especially on the background mountain there and there and I uh, sincerely thought this would uh, could uh, have been the last uh, part of the series but no uh, <laughs> I couldn't finish everything in time uh, so uh, maybe for next week maybe we'll have a big uh, surprise next uh, week and uh, yes and that's all I think mm, yes for <laughs> for this evening for this Sunday evening is all sorry guys if I haven't shown you everything while I was doing it but it's very very simple to place uh, all these things mm, no new technique at all and it's just a uh, matter of time uh, getting there uh, with, uh, with everything and placing everything just need time to do it so uh, I uh, prefer to show you the final result no new technique has been uh, used for this update and uh, and nothing else guys uh, except for the, uh, the uh, crazy idea part 2 video that I uploaded yesterday and uh, some of uh, you guys have already started uploading the uh, videos uh, your video your video of your villages and I thank you for that sincerely I thank you for that uh, and that's all see you for the outro. Bye. A week of work and with the help of figurines and trees, the village has finally came to life and it was time. Every single task, every little step is important when you build a Christmas village. But only now, with all the figurines in place, you can judge whether you have worked correctly or not. I thought that this part 21 of the series would have been the last one, but I couldn't finish all the work in time. I am sorry. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.